Hi guys, yeah, Javon here, and this is another video. So we're going to jump right into it. As you know, it is Pride Month, and I wanted to make sure I do a Pride Month look to make sure I honor my um, fellow brothers and sisters that are in that community. I am not in that community. I do not identify as... Um, Anything on the spectrum that will classify me as LGBTQ, anything like that. But some of my best friends, my best family members represent the community and they represent it really, really well. And to be honest, a lot of my makeup skills I learned came from this community. I mean, we really need to honor this community. We really need to go ahead and give our props because yes, we had makeup before, but they took it to a whole new level. So yes, to honor Pride Month, to honor these lovely, lovely, lovely individuals, I'm going to come up with something super creative. I always take inspiration from different places. This time I really didn't um, look at too many things. But I do know I want to do like a half face and then something extreme on the top, the bottom. I don't know. I'm going to wing it. I went and picked up a couple things from the beauty supply store. Good old beauty supply store. And yeah, we're just going to wing it and we're just going to try to get this look done. Make sure you follow my Instagram. It will be right here on the screen. Get my followers up. You know, I get a lot of interaction on Instagram and I want to keep that momentum up. Also on YouTube, we are so close to 200 subscribers. It's not even funny. So make sure you share, share, share. Tell someone about me. Say, follow Yaz Javon. Follow Yaz Javon. Follow her, follow her, follow her. Because we really need to get it up. And I may even do another giveaway when I get to 200. So make sure you share. All right. On to the video. Okay, so I moved you guys a bit closer. As I said before, I want to do something half face or something like that. I don't know. But I am going to put the um, inspiration that I got for the half face on the screen now. Yeah. So I got this look from the Instagram account that you just saw that I put on the screen. And I'm just, the only inspiration I'm really going to take from that screen is, or from that little photo is the way he did the drops. That's it. Okay, you guys, so you can see I have the base for my color brow done. For eyeshadow palettes today, I will be using my Box of Crayons palette and my mini James Charles palette. I have not um, used the James Charles much, but I know that he has so many colors. But the Box of Crayons palette, as you know, my holy grail, I love this palette. And she just came out with a 64. Well, she's coming out now. I was on her live. And she was saying that she was coming out with a 64 color, you know, like the 64 crayons box. You know, if you was in kindergarten or elementary school and you had the 64 box of crayons with a little pencil sharpener in the back or the crayon sharpener in the back, you was what the shit, okay? But these will be the two palettes I will be using today.
Okay, so now I have foundation the whole face. I concealed, I mean, highlighted with my concealer, contoured just a little bit. I'm gonna go back in with a contour powder towards the end because after I draw the drops, I don't know where the contour is gonna sit on this side. I don't know how far down I'm gonna go with the drops. I don't know, but that's what we're about to do right now. I set it with some powder. Um, I wanna do that before I do my eyeshadow because I wanna bring my eyeshadow out kind of big. So yeah. Let's do that now. Let's try to, let's pray that I can draw these drops on my face. Okay. Thank you. What if I go through my eyebrow with a drop and then do the eyebrow? Does that make sense? Like, what if I, what if I make a drop go through my eyebrow and in that drop, the pop of color is there because that's what this look is about is when the makeup goes over your face, splash, bright. I don't know, let's try, let's try, let's try. Cause that's just something I just. Okay, I traced over the white line, but as you can see while I was tracing, I got the idea to put a couple of drops through my eyebrows. I'm hoping that it comes out right because it was just spur of the moment. But right now, I'm going to go inside of those drops and try to mimic this eyebrow on the spots with, with the color. If that makes any sense. If you don't understand what I'm saying, it's okay. You'll see. We're going to do that right now. I'm going in with my box of crayons palette and a small Luxie brush. The smallest one I have, I believe. I might have one smaller, I don't know. And we're just gonna go in those places. And we're gonna add depth to these drops and kind of outline the drop again to show that the drops have some action going on, like they're running, they're just not sitting on your face. I'm going to go in with the um, lime looking green from the James Charles palette and I'm just going to pat it on.
And I'm gonna just get a little bit of blush and contour because I don't want to be too dark. And I'm gonna blush it right here. Rihanna had a has a stick, like a chili mango and orange. I've had it for a while. I'm just really not sure what the heck I'm supposed to do with it. So right now, we're gonna try to get some of this and use it as a colorful highlighter. the end of the video this look is complete and i love it as you can see i added my little flower crown my little blue shirt just to give that color a little more pop a little more depth a little more color to this video but this look is complete i went through a lot to complete this look my camera stopped on me like four or five times i may include a clip here of how frustrated i was and i i'm so annoyed but um i'm going to keep recording just because i did start and yeah i'm pretty bummed so, and i almost gave up on this video but i powered through you guys and we got through it and it is done okay it's just so much going on but overall this look came out so well so vibrant so meaningful so representative of pride month so even if you're not a part of this community, we are all a part of this community because we love them. We're here for them. We participate in certain things and we just, I don't know. I just admire them for how bold they are. But yeah, this look is done. Thank you guys for coming and going on this journey with me. Let's get into it. Drip, drip. Okay, so yeah, that's what we're gonna call this. Drip, drip look. This is my drip, 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 drip look running down the face okay i love it i think it came out very very well make sure you like this video go ahead and thumbs up it and make sure you share this video and make sure you're subscribed to my channel also make sure you follow my instagram we want to get to a thousand followers on instagram and 200 subscribers on youtube and then a giveaway will commence one that you won't regret um, thank you guys for supporting me. Make sure you share the word. Tell them to follow Yaz Javon. Follow her, follow her, follow her, because she comes out with crazy looks, okay? So if you're down for it, make sure you leave me a rainbow emoji in my comments to let me know you enjoyed this video and you're here for Pride Month look, the drip, drip look, okay? Until next time, thanks.